So hey guys, welcome to a new series I'm doing on this channel. It is a show called Is It Worth It? Is It Worth It is where basically I get things that are sort of for collectors, stuff like that, that you might think aren't really worth it because they usually cost a lot and they don't do much. So I'll be reviewing those things and going over them. First up is um, a model airplane. This is a 1 to 200 scale. Hogan Wings 777-200LR, which stands for long range, and it is licensed by Boeing. In fact, I got, um, these are for sale at the Boeing store in Seattle. So yeah, this is a 1-200 scale model plane. Whoops, sorry about that. Come on. There we go. It is very realistic. So, yeah. First, let's go over the stand. I currently do not have a box on me, but it comes in a very, very nice um, blue Boeing colored cardboard box, and it looks really nice. It has the picture of the plane on it, too. So, yeah, um, starting with the stand, it's a very nice stand. One problem I had with this is this thing, I don't know if it's a sticker or if it's supposed to glue it on. I try... It looks like a sticker because it looks like there's a thing you can peel off. I tried peeling it off for like ages and it wouldn't come off. So I had to glue it on. And the panel isn't exactly flat. It's a bit arced. It's arced inward at the middle. So the edges go up, want to go up. So when I tried to glue it together, as you can see, one of the edges is up. And I tried to fix that and even super glue couldn't hold it. So that's a bit annoying. But still looks really nice. It says triple seven two hundred LR by Boeing. Um, it is made of metal. The plaque thing. The stand is very nicely constructed, made out of I believe real wood. The bottom has four felt patches. Put it on the table. Won't move it around. And here it is just a simple two screws. It is very very sturdy. Almost no wobble whatsoever. And you can always tighten the screws. They are just two standard Phillips F screws. It comes with the package. And this nice metal bar connects to the plane here. And this is also made out of metal. So yeah, how you attach the plane? One sec. On the bottom, there's this. It's very simple. On the bottom, there's a notch. There's a notch on here. And just line it up. Sort of hard to show. Just line it up and just push it in. Once you get it in, it's very stable. Like, if you knock it around, it may still come off, but overall, it's very stable. Shouldn't come off. So, yeah. That's it for the stand. Now, onto the plane itself. It is in Boeing House Colors. Looks very, very nice. It's a 1 to 200 scale. Very realistic. And, um, I'm pretty sure it retails for around 50 bucks. I'm not too sure. I'll have a link to the buy link in the description. Let's give you a nice nose view here. You can see it looks very, very nice. It's so realistic. Um, not only does it have gear, and the wheels do spin, spin and move. The, even the engines, they have fan blades and they actually spin if you blow. Or if you just spin it physically. Can't really do that on cameras, but yeah, they do, can spin, so that's very cool. It's very realistic. It has bone house colors, very nice paint job. It doesn't scratch or anything. It has your four exit doors and all the little windows. Even on the wings, they've added details and texturing and stuff like that. So that's very nice. The landing gear is pretty sturdy, but I wouldn't mess with this too much. It's more to be a collector's piece because the landing gear is made of very thin, thin plastic and it could snap very easily. In fact, I've had quite a few Hogan models landing gear snap on me and I don't even use them that much. So, yeah, now to the construction of it. Wings, plastic. 
Um, the elevators and rudder is plastic. I'm pretty sure the whole body is plastic. Correct? I think it's plastic because it's not very heavy. Maybe metal, but yeah, it sounds like plastic. Pretty sure it's plastic. Correct me if I'm wrong in the comments. The engines are plastic with a nice metal finish inside. Maybe that's metal. I'm not sure. The metal finish might be metal, but I'm put but the outside is definitely plastic. And the landing gear, as I said, I've already gone over that. The wheel wheels are rubber, very nice, but the connection is just very thin plastic as you can see, so be careful of that. So yeah, that's the construction. Overall, I think these models are definitely worth it because they look really cool. And these are designed for collectors. Now, I, I wouldn't say it's worth it if you're like a person that likes to get them to play around with. They really have, you can't really play with them. I mean, I guess you can roll them around and pick them up and fly them. But they aren't very sturdy. If you drop it, they're gonna break. And the wheels, if you try to slide it along too much, it could snap. And it, you, it can't move on its own or anything, so yeah. But it is very realistic, and it is a collector's piece. So if you're a collector, I definitely recommend this, checking this out. If you're someone that just wants a toy to play with, not so much. So this has been my review on the Hogan Wings Boeing 777. Thanks for watching. Bye!